Thank you. All right. Howdy, everybody. Morning. I'm on my way home from the truck. I'm bringing my wife a wrap and got myself my coffee, so I'm all set, ready to go. I'm home. It's Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. Canada celebrates Thanksgiving in October, not in November like the U.S. So today is a Friday. Yeah, I gotta go home. Britt is making cabbage rolls for our Thanksgiving gathering tomorrow, which is with her side of the family on her mom's side. Uh, we're gonna head into Winnipeg, have a nice, delicious Thanksgiving meal. I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, Monday is uh, the holiday, actually. But Trucker Josh is going to work. No long weekend for me. Well, technically today is my holiday, my long weekend. I'm getting home, it's 11.30 a.m. I get half a day today on Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. That's a long weekend already. I don't need a four day weekend or three and a half day weekend. I need to get back to work. So Monday, like I was saying in yesterday's vlog, we have a load waiting for us again, Kenora down to Brainerd. We'll unload that Monday afternoon, Monday evening. And then from there, I head down to Northern Indiana. A little bit of a hike down there, but it's worth it. We'll go down there, we pick up a load and bring that back here to Winnipeg. So that's the beginning of next week all planned out already. So I like knowing what I'm doing that way. I can plan better. Had to pick up a bunch of that. Got that all set up. Got my stuff here. Good day, mates. Ah, it's gonna be home. Look at this. Like all of the trees around here pretty much all lost their leaves, right? Well, except for these guys. These are my two like, favorite trees in the whole world because they're mine. That one is so healthy during the summer and so full. And look at it, it stays green for so long. All the other trees have either changed color or lost their leaves already. The ones back there lost their leaves like a month ago already. Myrtles. Well, let's hopefully she comes back in the spring. But uh, these ones, look how long they stay green. They're just a lot of work in the uh, springtime. As we noticed, this was our first spring here. So the way that they reproduce is they have all of these seeds and they release them first thing in spring. And it just makes a mess of everything. But once you clean that up and that's gone, and it just turns into this big, beautiful green shade tree right over the swing set and the playhouse there. And this one needs a bit of work because part of it is dead. We need to cut off that dead branch already. And uh, this one branch here was sort of strangled. Uh, you can see that, you see this one here wasn't as healthy. It did get leaves, but not as thick as it could be. Like not as thick as the rest of the tree. And this one's already like, done for the season. And it's the same tree, right? But it's all from this branch right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right there they had hung up a rope swing. And it must have stayed on there for like five, ten years. Because the tree sort of grew around the rope and strangled that branch up there. So I went and cut the rope out so that it could breathe again and hopefully it comes back. Hopefully. But uh, other than that, like this tree is super healthy. Except for this down here. That's probably what one of the problems is. But we'll see. We'll get an arborist in here see if we can save it. And then there's one branch. It starts from right there. And it goes up there. You can see it through there. It's dead all the way down to here. But the rest of it is all alive. So next summer, uh, we need to take care of that and cut the dead part off and uh, that tree there same style there's actually two of them very healthy very nice the rest of these trees they're all uh, they're all taken off for the winter I wish I could take off for winter time go live in Florida or something I know Florida needs a lot of help right now hope you guys are doing all right I saw online videos of a whole bunch of uh, electric crews from Canada here heading down to help clean up after the hurricane. Uh, hurricane Helene and Hur Hurricane Milton both slammed into Florida. And there's a whole bunch of Canadian crews that went down there to help. And uh, for one, we want to help out our neighbors. And for two, it's almost snowbird season. Many, many Canadians here when they retire they buy winter homes down in Florida. That is the place to go for Canadians. You'll find a lot of us down there in wintertime. Thousands of us. <laughs> so 
it's our snowbird season coming up. So we have to go down there and help make sure everything is cleaned up and ready so that our snowbirds can get out of here before the snow falls and go back down to Florida. But yeah, it looks pretty brutal out there. I hope that uh, everyone, are any of you from the area affected there? Are you, are you all right? You guys need anything? Maybe our community here can, uh, you know, is there any good, uh, good ways to support the people down in Florida? Is there any good charities or, I, I'm so hesitant giving to charities sometimes because a lot of these charities, they just, they keep a lot of the money you give. You know, you, you give, let's say a hundred bucks and maybe like 10 bucks makes it to the actual cause that you were donating to. So, uh, anybody know of good, good places that we as a community could sort of help out Florida? I'd have to research it myself before I would talk about it and promote it on my channel here because like I said, I want to make sure that if we do help, 100% of what we give gets to the people that need it and don't go to some rich non-profit CEO. I want to help the victims of the hurricanes that actually need it. I don't want to help the CEO buy a second winter home. How's your week been, Chevy? Been good? So, Myrtle. Myrtle, Myrtle, Myrtle. She took off quite good. Planted her in June, I believe. Uh, it was already about four or five years old, so it didn't grow this much in one season, come on. But uh, it did grow quite a bit, but she got attacked by some black fungus and we treated it with a uh, fungicide. We had to keep the dogs out of the yard for a day after that, that was fun. And it still, still didn't completely fix the problem and you can see there. Uh, she is struggling a bit. We talked to the arborist and like the tree experts in town here and they assured us that, you know, it shouldn't kill it. It shouldn't kill the tree, but uh, we'll see what happens in spring. I hope, I hope she comes back in spring. If not, we're going to rip her out of the ground. We're going to go get another one and try again. Poor Myrtle. She's already so sad. And then she got a fungus yet. That's so sad. So, so sad. Even sadder. It's a weeping willow. That's why she's so sad. And how you doing, Diesel? Living the good life still? Yeah? Retirement treating you good? The staff here at the nursing home are pretty good, I hear. Running a senior's home here, pretty much. Got Diesel, we, we had Frank. He left us, passed on this uh, this summer. But uh, we got Diesel still here. We got the Wiener over here. Wiener's 14 years old. Diesel's 13 years old. And Chevy, he's our, he's our youngin'. He's seven years old. And me, I feel like I'm like older than I am, but I don't know, I'm, I'm still young, I guess. I'm 36. Not that bad, but Diesel there, he's uh, he's definitely retired. Hello. I'm feeling generous today. I'm going to let you live. Mostly because you're a daddy long leg. But man, have we had spiders here this year. Not daddy long legs. Like the other ones, they must all be dead or whatever they do for winter time. I hope they die. But, uh, oh man, we had like these big suckers. Like, I know Australia is laughing at me right now. Okay, they're big for us. They're like juicy. They're not poisonous or anything. They're just abundant. We ooh, just spider city here this year. It's crazy. Just everywhere. They didn't get in the house too bad, but uh, a few of them snuck in. We were able to neutralize them and eliminate them. Evict them. But, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Diesel, you want to stay outside for a bit? You look pretty comfy. You want to hang out there? I don't mind. Enjoy the sunshine, bud. So last weekend we cleaned up the garage, right? <laughs> yeah, and it just mostly got moved down here. <clears throat> There. It's not that bad. There's a few bins. We need to go through these. At least it's downstairs now. And here we can, like, what's this? Like, this is our Blu rays. 
need to organize all of this. DVDs and Blu-rays, we need to get a shelf for that. I would like to have something like in there and in there maybe, and then I'd have to secure to the wall so that Theo doesn't pull it over. Maybe we can have something that just mounts to the wall like up there beside the TV there and over there. Some, oh, that wouldn't be enough because we have a lot. We have a lot. We have a, a huge library of DVDs, movies, seasons. Because we used to collect them. This was in the days before streaming services got really popular. And then we got Disney Plus and Prime and Netflix. And now we most, mostly watch our movies online. But, you know, one day hopefully we can continue our... Because it's nice to have a hard copy, right? Maybe a little old school. I don't know. Oh yeah, my laundry. I gotta change my laundry over. <sighs> Anyway, I came down here to get food. It's almost supper time. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so good. What do you guys think? Ribs for supper? Mm hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, here's bacon. Oh yeah, I got one in the fridge upstairs already. Thick cut bacon. That's for tomorrow morning. Lots of sticks. Hmm. I don't want too much. I'm pretty hungry right now because I'm breaking my fast. I've been doing my intermittent fasting and uh, this week I did a 36 hour fast. And I'm just completing, or I have completed a 24 hour fast now, it's actually been 25 hours, but Britt's making cabbage rolls upstairs, so I had to wait an extra hour for the oven to be ready so that we can make some food. And we're gonna get some good protein in us. I'm gonna go a little crazy, because it's the weekend. Some cheesy matzo sticks, and also some greens in us. Uh, probably get some kind of salad going, but it's been working really well. Uh, I've been doing this steady now, like committed and steady, and being very careful what I eat. I've cut out all sugars, mostly. I'm going to say 99% of sugars I've cut completely out. Uh, I've been filling myself up mostly with uh, like uh, cooked chicken breast, uh, pork, different meats for protein and such, uh, rice, uh, a lot of vegetables, broccoli, uh, salads. And I've been doing this for two months now. And I've officially lost 24 pounds. Can you tell? Look, look, look how skinny my face is, right? Like, look at this. My belly's pretty much gone. Still got a little bit there. If I don't care, I won't suck it in. I won't suck it in. Still got a little bit there, so I got a little ways to go. I want to get down below 200 uh, to about one, between 180 and 190. I'd like to go down to 180, and then I'll probably bring myself back up to. We'll see how I feel once I get to 190, but uh, yeah, it looks like definitely by Christmas I'll have reached my goal. Welcome to our furnace slash laundry room. Glad you're here with me. This is where all the stuff happens relating to furnaces and laundry. So I don't put any of my shirts or anything in the dryer. That all gets hung up. The only thing I'll put in the dryer are my jeans, socks, and stuff like that. I've had too many uh, instances of shrinkage. And yes, I do all my own laundry. I don't know if you guys knew this or not. I do all my own laundry. My wife does none of my laundry. I insist on doing my own. Maybe because I lived on my own for so long, like before I met her, I was just used to it. But. No one does my laundry, I do my laundry. I like it done a certain way, okay? I hear so often stories online. Sorry, the lighting is terrible right here. Come with me. I hear so often stories online of like husbands who don't do their laundry or like I hear these things like wives always say that they do their husband's laundry and that their husband doesn't even put their dirty laundry in the dirty laundry basket. I keep thinking, I'm like, what kind of, what kind of men are these? <laughs> what kind of man doesn't do his own laundry? 
That is so foreign to me. That's so weird. You're, you're gonna let your wife do your make your wife do your laundry? I mean, unless she wants to. I mean, if that's kind of her thing and she insists. I mean, okay, don't stop her, but. Do you do your own laundry? I mean, I find it very weird if you don't, but that's just me. I mean, I'm a weird guy, so don't take what I find as weird as actually weird. I'm hungry. Can't wait to eat those ribs. Ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh, hot. That was a bad idea. That was, that was a bad idea. Can you just grab that? Yes. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Yeah, that was in the oven, my dear. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's for tomorrow. That's for tomorrow. For tonight, we're going with pre-made. Just easy, nice and quick. It's already a little late. So we gotta get going here. Right here, I'm going to throw these in in the last five to seven minutes. Very excited. Can't forget about these guys, they need supper too. Diesel's got a good appetite, which is good. He goes through periods where he uh, struggles with his appetite and you sort of gotta bribe him with treats to eat his meal. But seems to be doing pretty good lately, which is good. It's the diesel update, the weasel update. And if you're wondering, which I know you are, the rib update. One sec, let me get it focused. One sec, oh, oh. Oh, don't be jealous. Okay, you can be jealous, be jealous. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I didn't know this was going to fit on here. Make it fit. Oh, oh. I'm using a spatula. Yes, I know. That's all I have clean right now. It is what it is. <laughs> Wipe that. The dishwasher needs to do its job more often. I know, I keep telling her. <gasps> Joshua! Morning, Diesel. Come on, let's go outside. Come on. Nice and easy. I got you, Wiener. Morning, Chevy. Morning, Wiener. We're up a little earlier than usual, eh? Yeah, it's gonna be a little chilly out here, so brace yourselves. Go on, Diesel. You okay? Go on. Come on, buddy. I gotta get the door open. There you go. It's really stiff in the mornings. All right. What? Oh, Jeff. Diesel's really stiff in the mornings. Poor guy. So, happy Saturday, everybody. I'm not sure how long this vlog will be today. We have uh, uh, Thanksgiving weekend here. It's Thanksgiving here in Canada. Just a reminder again, before all the comments come flooding in. In Canada, our Thanksgiving is in October. I know that in the U.S. Thanksgiving is in November. Every year we go through this in the comments section. 
it's Thanksgiving for us here in Canada, so I'm off. I was off yesterday. I'm off today, and I'm off tomorrow. So I got a little bit of a long weekend, and then we get back to it. You feeling all right, Diesel? Hmm. He gets so stiff in the mornings now. It's his back hips that are giving him problems. He's still doing okay though. He just sort of got, he has to get them warmed up a little bit. Cold weather is always a lot harder on the joints. You're a trooper though, man. You're doing good. 13 years old now, man. You made it. You're a teenager. Officially. Human years, dog years, well, you're an old man now. <laughs>